Hi, I'm Kristen Duncan, and today I'm in historic Sanford, Florida. We are in Seminole County, which is generally known for its outstanding schools in Central Florida. And we are north, northeast of downtown Orlando, but we're really not too far away, about 35 minutes to get downtown and 35 minutes to the Orlando International Airport. Conveniently, Sanford has its own airport, which we'll explore more in just a little bit. And one of the big perks of being in Sanford is that you are only 45 minutes away from New Smyrna Beach. That is my favorite beach in our area and on the East Coast. You're about an hour, 45 minutes if you're lucky, from Magic Kingdom and Disney property as well. And another perk of Sanford is we are it's built on the southern end of Lake Monroe. So a lot of the historic area and some of the biking and walking trails have an excellent view of the lake. Historic downtown Sanford has been completely revitalized in the last few years. When I moved here 20 years ago, it was nothing like this, and they have done such an outstanding job. From the brick paved streets, planters everywhere, fountains, benches, this is truly a destination in itself. So there are shops, restaurants, there's a marina just about a block off the main drag of the historic district, and there's a bike and walking trail. It's about 10 feet wide, paved, and it runs almost the whole length of Lake Monroe in Sanford. So two of my favorite places to hang out in downtown Sanford are Hollerbach's Willow Tree Tavern. This is a German restaurant known for its big Oktoberfest celebration every year. And also the jailhouse. It is an old jailhouse in Sanford that they converted into the restaurant and the food is outstanding. Historically, Sanford has been known for its older homes. So, so they're all built kind of around this downtown area. A lot of the homes have been renovated in recent years, so you can still find those gems that have been untouched since they were built in likely the 20s or the 30s. And some have been totally redone to be a little more modern, but still have that old school charm. So the other half of Sanford housing are new construction properties. These are primarily being built on the east side of town, past and across the street from the airport. And there are new communities popping up everywhere. They've already approved a lot of development in that area, a Publix grocery store and lots of other shopping opportunities. So the homes out there are subject to an HOA, although the fees are fairly low. And most of them do have amenities, at least a community pool, which comes in very handy here in the Florida summers. But some of them do have some other activities and amenities as well. So let's talk about some of the transportation options available in Sanford. It actually has its own airport. The Orlando Sanford International Airport is located here just five or 10 minutes from downtown. And this is primarily going to be Allegiant nonstop flights, although there are multiple airlines that come and go through this airport. It is smaller than Orlando, which is a great thing, especially for parking and getting around, but they actually have just added another terminal. So they are growing rapidly. Sunrail also comes to Sanford and has a stop here from downtown Orlando. And there is a trolley that takes you from the Sunrail to the historic downtown area, which is lots of fun. Interstate 4, the 429, and the 417 expressways all intersect here, so you have lots of options to get to other parts of the city. Seminole County in general is known for its outstanding schools and Sanford is no exception. They have the A-rated Crooms Academy High School, which is like a magnet or a charter school. And there's also Seminole High, which is a B rating, still really great for Florida. There are two middle schools, Sanford and Millennium. And then you have over nine elementary between private and public schools to choose from. So lots of schooling options here. Seminole State College is also here. So the junior college for the area is located right in Sanford. And we're a quick commute to UCF. We're probably about about 35 minutes from the University of Central Florida. I'm Kristen Duncan. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'd love to hear from you. What should we talk about next and what location in Central Florida? I'd love to hear your suggestions.